Hello and welcome as it is the uh, 15th day of December 2019. My name is Derek. This is the Money Charts channel. All bets, trades of the like. Well, that's within each his own risk and their own reward. We'll take a look at Theta after this. We had this failed breakdown, which uh, didn't take too long to go this high. It's been in a downtrend, obviously, ever since. Has uh, not broken any, any line of this nature. This entire price action is... Uh, resisting this area of previous support that preceded that failed breakdown. And as I've been mentioning, it looks like this is on route to about, at least to around in here. We'll see if that's the case as we move forward. As far as price action and that with the 18, of course, it's in a downtrend. But the 18 average is starting to go a bit sideways because it's neutral to a degree. Nonetheless, it's showing weakness within the 18 lows. And it still needs to get above this to even attempt. And this level of resistance at 76.52 to say, okay, maybe we're ready to uh, get things going again. And when it does, how does it hold it? Because the last time it did it, which of course was this failed breakout, didn't hold it too well. Now, in viewing this on the short term, let's first again talk about how, yeah, this is showing weakness at the 18, the three days here, in going uh, sideways on the lows, and the breakdown, well, I don't want to call it a breakdown, but it did get past this short-term level of support here in yesterday's session, and today it's just holding in there, resisting this little area point in here, and yeah, just holding in there within the bear market or the move down as it is, as it looks like here, leaving it. So when we take a look at this on a single hour term time frame. We can see that we had a move earlier today that's going to be very, very important in here. And it's not looking too bullish or too productive at this time. As we, of course, there was this break of the support that made this low. Now are we resisting this level of support? It sure looks like it. We'll see. But after getting it above this 18, establishing the resistance, we have this interesting period which both came to the 18 lows, also extending above the highs. The next period back down to the lows, to the highs, and starting to fall from these highs again within the current one. Well, basically this move is that attempt to get this uh, thing back going in the opposite direction to the upside after the down move this was immediate in one period one turn band flattening out market uh, and establishing resistance although there were several periods of it going sideways attempting to flatten okay but there we go there's the uh, first stage to revert it and now we're back to the 18 low stage number two back to correctionary phase and it's still in that phase it's only been this is period number six it looks like so it and it's still got the newly rising 18. But if this fails, then almost certainly it would look like that 6,300 would be the next move breaking support. Now on to Theta, which is in at 13.53 Satoshi, or at high is priced against Bitcoin not seen since the August. Not too far from going down to break down levels of June. This is back down because we're talking about a high of 5,000 earlier in March. Because when these things go, they can go. And that's now the question. Is this ready to do just that? It's already had a move. Nothing phenomenal, really. From, from like 930 to 1375. That's 400 in basis points more. Like 40-ish plus percent, close to 50. But, but really, in the grand scheme of things, that's not much. But this could be that start of something big. Probability odds for this to be 3x in, say, three weeks. Much higher than most coins now, only because of the setup situation. And definitely a lot higher than it would have been for a 3x move when it was trapped in this 18 average down this lower part in here. There's been a lot of these failed moves that I've been going over. This one in here, this one, this one in here, which was uh, a few periods going up. So this could end up being just another one of those failures as well. If there's going to be any price correction and a move back here, at least if it holds here, this is where you're, uh, this is as far as you'd want to go on any corrections based on the fact that breaking here, I expect to do exactly what it's doing, and that's testing the general area of this high near 1400. Currently, the high session's in at 1380. So that's pretty much a pierce below, but most certainly general area. If it gets out above that next, the next area I see is in the 18 mids in this previous level of resistance. Then we have this level of support here, which is about 22, which goes up to this resistance at about 22 to 25. 
And this was a big level 3,600 in here, which had some congestion at this point and this high around 5,000. So those are the key levels that have came, have come into place uh, within this market. This gives you an idea for potential for where we could go, at least in number terms. A lot of times those previous areas do work out to be that of uh, pretty good. On the three hour term time frame, we can uh, see that the last decent move higher, getting up to this resistance on December the 12th, then resisting several times, breaking out uh, today, resisting it yesterday afternoon as well. But now you've already had a key level. Like, okay, so you break this, you expect a move that's not small, really. Well, 1300, 1320 would be kind of small. And it didn't do that. So it's already gotten up close to 14. Okay, that's a decent leg, leg higher. Could be further. You don't know yet. On the hour, there is uh, really no signs showing that this uh, move is over because we did go up to this top previous period and pull back down to 1316. But it's already now up to 1353 and has been up to the 77 level again. On the one minute term, we uh, had the move start. Well, from 9.13, it had a nice little gain. Straight up move, consolidating well. Another small gain higher there after that. All of this is coming on lower volume. And this is, you got situations as far as tradings are concerned. Oh, you got higher prices as this happens. Somewhere in the mid 1300s. This could attract both buyers and sellers, of course. Sellers because you higher number, better profit. Buyers, it's breaking out. It's doing all this type of stuff. But what I do find very productive is from this high. You have this type of move. This type of stuff is normal in markets. But for it to recover and go to previous high like this, as fast as it did, well, that's a magnificent move. From this move, well, now you want a higher low from here. Because this is a higher low from this break, which when you have a big move, oh, are you going to make a higher low? Well, damn right, you better, because if not, that's the ultimate failure. Because even bearishly, making a higher low is normal. Meaning, bearishly meaning, you make a higher low, lower high, and you do something like that. But that something like isn't happening right now because of the fact that it made it to this high. And now within this correctionary move, that short term, you start to see this thing come in and start to break it. I think above 1371, 1372. Those are the clear, clear indications to me that if it can do that, wow, I'd be looking for a break above here. I'd be looking for a nice break north of 1400 even there after that. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.